Hey ladies, I've always wanted to do a bedroom tour, especially since I love how my room looks. And now that it's about 95% complete, I figure now is the time to go ahead and show it to you. Got this white velvet tufted mirror bed off of Wayfair. Your bed is the centerpiece of your room and I wanted something that said glamorous and luxury and just beautiful and this definitely fit the bill. My pillow situation is a bit lackluster at the moment. I love everything that I've got on the bed but I do want something different. I want something that's shiny, glamorous. I got these pillows from Macy's and they are beautiful but they don't stand out enough on the bed. Um, and I do want something a little bit more fluffier. I've got these jumbo pillows from Ikea in the back. They are not that jumbo. I'm looking for something much bigger. So I do want to overhaul this area. This bed runner is actually a duvet cover. I got it off of Amazon. It is beautiful. I don't ever want to take it off my bed. I decided not to use it as a duvet and just lay it this way instead. And it's easy to keep clean. This quilt from Target is lightweight. The pattern is beautiful and I am not changing it. The second I saw this Oslo cream throw from Z Gallery, I knew I had to have it. It is stunning, especially in the light. It's probably my favorite item in the whole room. I put this silver ring tray that I got from Macy's on it, topped it with some accessories from Ikea. Both of the glasses and the candles are from there. Very cheap, I think just $14 each, much cheaper than the ones that Z Gallery sells. Threw some candles inside, some lilies from Amazon, and it's just beautiful. You probably already know I'm a huge fan of Farrah from Inspire Me Home Decor. So when I saw her Jessica Velvet Bench and Cream, I did not give a damn what it cost. I had to have it. It is beautiful. I actually lay on this thing. I'm really short. I'm only five foot four and I can fit my whole body on it mostly. Um, but just look at the detail, how it's got this ruffled, wrinkled up look to it. It just feels so smooth. My room is really small. I didn't think I'd have room to fit a bench in it and walk around, but this fit perfectly. Um, so if you like this, it comes in a couple of different colors, I think. It's always sold out. So I recommend if you want it, keep tabs on when it comes back in stock and get it. It took me a while to decide on wall art for my room because I'm really picky. I knew that I wanted canvas and not frame. Um, and I just had to wait for the right pieces to jump out at me. This first piece, um, pretty cheap. I got it for a hundred bucks. It's on Amazon, but also Ashley Furniture. It is stunning. You can see all the detail, the glitter in it. Um, when the sun hits it right, it's just, it looks even better. I've wanted this Z Gallery piece since I seen it. I was finally able to get it when it was on sale. I don't think they have it anymore. I wish the whole thing was a light golden because I don't like the dark on it, but I am happy with it. It is stunning in the sun. You can see all the detail on it and I just, no words. These bridal letter boxes came from Amazon, super cheap, I think just 20 something bucks. I randomly thought they would make a good addition to the room and they have, I usually have balloons in the same color and order placed inside of them. I like them, it's beautiful. It's a cute, fun vibe. I struggled with where to get curtains from until I came across these from Ikea. Not only are they the perfect color, but they're very affordable. I think you get two for $36 and y'all know that most curtains, they're expensive just for one. Since I'm extra, my luggage had to match my room. This luggage is from base, except for the bag on top. That's from Kohl's. With my room being small, I knew I was going to want a really large mirror in it to kind of make the space look bigger than it is. And I accomplished that with this gorgeous mirror. It was only about 200 something, so not so bad. Um, this rug came from Amazon and they were the first two things I bought when I first put my room together. Continuing on with the cream theme, I got these Pampas from Inspire Me Home Decor, but they also have them at Crate and Barrel. I was surprised to see them when I went in there the other day and the vase is from uh, West Elm, I think. These jumbo roses from Hobby Lobby were gonna go in a vase, but I just haven't decided which one. So I'm actually just gonna leave them alone. I think they're better just standing here looking beautiful. This ottoman is actually really big um, and you do have to keep it clean. So everything that gets on it stands out, but here is the main attraction in my room, my beautiful Julia chair and cream. This is also from Inspire Me. You can get it from her website or from Tove Furniture. It actually goes for about 500 something. I got it on sale for 400 because they didn't update their price correctly. This glam lamp from Amazon, um, I think is just the perfect touch to my room. It's not as tall as I'd like it to be, but it works. 
Every girl on Instagram has this bookcase from Ikea. Um, It's super affordable, really nice. Um, It's the only piece that I brought from my last apartment. And I just kind of set it here at my room, decorated it mostly with pieces from Inspire Me, Home Decor, Hobby Lobby, and my favorite candle from Target. You guys have got to check out that vanilla pumpkin. It just smells so damn good. I don't even want to burn it. That's how good it smells. Um, And this piece here came from Hobby Lobby. It's beautiful. I don't even know what to put in it. So I just let it sit there. I may do away with this shelf in the future, but for now it looks good in my room. Um, And this piece came from Burlington. It was just randomly sitting there, the only one in the store. And of course it's gold and white. So, you know, I had to take it home. Someone special made this for me and my honor. They understood the assignment because of the colors are gold and white and I just really appreciate them and we'll keep that forever. All right, let's get into this console table. There's a lot going on here. I'm not gonna say where everything is from. I'll probably put that in the description box, but I mean, I I had to have a console table um, somewhere in my bedroom. I got this off of Wayfair. I painted it white. It comes in a distressed brown color only and I had to paint it. I already posted, I think, about that, but I just had to decorate it with gold candles. I got the knobs from um, Home Depot, so I did take the original ones off. Obviously, they look very good with this and I just decorate it and change it up as I see fit. So I told you my room is 95% done. The only thing missing is a Samsung frame TV right there at the top in the corner. Um, I will put that up at some point, but this is just the view of how I'm beautifying my little space that I have. I love watching these videos myself for inspiration. If you have any comments, let me know and I will let you know where everything is from. 